Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you three key things on the query function in Google Sheets. You want to query data in a given range using dates. The three things I'm going to show you is one, format dates. Sometimes when the dates are formatted, when you run your query and say select data within a given range, it does not give you a result. And I'll show you how we get around that. Then secondly, I will also show you how to select data where we had code the date range. And lastly, where we select data and we select it from a range or a, a cell or a range of cells. So let's get started with this. So the query function, you type query, then you select your data, including the headers. The next statement required is a query function. So I'm going to say query A. If I want to say people, I say A, comma. I want that to be included, I say B. I want amount to be included, I say C. Where, if I say that, that is in column B. So I say B, that is my date. I say equals, and I specify a date here. And remember, when we're using the query function, the format of the date should be year, month, and date. Like so if I did like this, and press a comma here, I have one column of headers. It's the last argument here, I need to close this, then close the bracket. When I do that, you can see it only returns the header cells. So we need to indicate to the query function that this is a date, 21st, 1st of January, 2023 is a date. And the way we do that, we need to indicate Date at the start here. Now, again, it does not work. Why it does not work is because the format of this date is not a date. So if I light the data here, I go to format, the number, you can see it is formatted as plain text. So for this to work, we need to format these dates as date. So when I do that, you can see our query runs and selects all data relating to 1st of January 2023. So now this is selecting for a particular date. So assuming we want between two dates, we can say maybe greater or equal to 1st of January 2021. And then we use the AND function B, which is our date again, must be less or equal to, again, we put our date here in the format of 2023, month 01, maybe 15th, close brackets. Now, why this one is also not working is because of missed date. Need to, at the start of the date, indicate the word date to pay the query function that this is a date. So when you enter, you can see now selects up to the 15th. If I want up to second, all I have to do is come up here and say up to zero two. Then you see that we have first and second selected in our data set. So this is how you can do your query function through hard coding the dates like this. Now, assuming I don't want to hard code my dates and I want these dates to be in a cell, which is I1 and J1. 
So far, what I've done, I've had coded the dates in here, but now I want to select them from a cell in a given range. So as I told you earlier, the format of the date has to be year, month, and date. So if it is written in this format, it will not be picked by our function. So what we'll have to do is to change it into the format that the query function understands. So we take that, we are going to use the text function, and then we give the format, which is year, month, and date, in quotes, like so. So when you do that, you can see this changes to this. So copy this right here. This date also changes in the format that you want. Having got this, we can use this in our query function here. And to do that, we need to copy this text function, control C, go up here, and we're going to paste it at the beginning of the date in quotes. And we are going to join it using the N percent. Control V, like so. We do the same here. In quotes, N percent. Control V, but this one is J2, J1. So put J1. When you do that, you can see our query still runs. Uh, assuming I change this to fast or fast, you see it is selecting only data for fast. I change this to second, and this one also to second. It will select only second. If I change the next one to ninth, then it will have data up to ninth, as you can see. So this is how you can use the query function to do your query. Remember, the format of the data has to be dates for it to work, and the format of the date has to be year, month, date. Thank you for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Subscribe, like, and share the video. And don't forget to hit the notification button to be alerted of new videos like this one.